In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import multiple ship to addresses from an Excel or a text file directly into QuickBooks Desktop using Z axis. The multiple ship to address feature in QuickBooks is really good when you have a customer that has multiple locations that you might be shipping items to. For example, like a retail group that might have many retail outlets or stores around a city or a state and you need to be able to um, select on the invoice, the sales receipt or say an estimate exactly where those items need to be shipped to. So QuickBooks can store those on the customer record and then when you come to create the invoice, as I'll show you here, you can then select the drop down list and the ship to address will automatically appear on the form. But the hard part is actually getting those ship to addresses into QuickBooks in the first place. So for example, one customer might have up to 20 ship to addresses and then you multiply that by another 20 or 30 customers and you've got a lot of data that will need to be manually hand keyed into QuickBooks. Now QuickBooks, as you probably know, has a customer import feature, but the ship to address fields are missing in that import. So what I'm gonna show you is a way that we have a utility called Z-Axis that can take those Excel or text files in batch of all those ship to addresses and get those quickly and easily into your QuickBooks company file. So let's get onto the desktop and I'll show you exactly how that works. So I've got QuickBooks open on my desktop and I'm gonna connect Z-Axis to my QuickBooks company file. Then in the import tab, I click the browse button and I'm gonna open the sample file that contains the ship to addresses that I wanna import into QuickBooks. So this is a text file. We also support Excel and um, IIF files if you have them. So what you'll notice in this field is the customer name. We need that to identify the correct customer to add the ship to address to's. We've got a ship to name which is the um, name for the ship to address, and then the address details underneath that. So what I'm gonna do next is I select mapping and I'm gonna say add new mapping. Select the transaction type or as customer. So we're gonna use the customer list to import these ship address twos. And what you'll notice is because we have, you know, three ship to addresses, you'll notice that the customer name here is repeated. So we can import three different rows, one for each ship to address. So I start off by mapping the customer name. Next, we go down to the ship to fields that we're going to in map. So first off, the ship to name to identify the ship to address, and then we're going to start matching the address line one address line two and three and so on. So with addresses, we can either do one, two, three, then city, state, and postal code and country. So once we've mapped this, we're going to give the mapping a name so that we can reuse this if we need to import another ship to address list. So we'll give it a name. If you need any help with mapping any of these fields, there is a blue link here, which will take you to a support article on our website that describes each of the fields and what's expected within those. So I click save. Now you'll notice just the fields that we mapped will appear and we can begin the process of importing those into QuickBooks desktop. So we click import. So Access will start validating the data to make sure it's in the correct format. And then it will go through and start importing each of those ship to addresses into QuickBooks. If an error does occur, you'll get a message saying that the ship to address import failed and will give you a message as to why the error occurred. So you can correct that and go ahead and reattempt the import. So once it's complete, we can click on the view button here. 
and it takes us to the customer record and we can see the various ship to addresses that we've imported and those can be available obviously on the um, whenever creating an invoice we can select the customer and we have the opportunity to select the ship to addresses directly from here so that's how you can use z-axis to upload multiple ship to addresses from a text or Excel file directly into your QuickBooks desktop.